Welcome to the eye cell. This is where I sell eyes. Would you like to buy one? Hey, welcome to our CNN eye cell disease, inclusion cell disease. We'll explain why it's called inclusion cell disease, also known as mucolipidosis type 2. It's going to be represented by this guy at his eye cell. He's a salesman and he sells eyes. And this is the eye cell. He's selling eyes to help us remember eye cell disease. So first we're going to talk about the pathophysiology of eye cell disease, what causes it, and then we're going to talk about the symptoms involved. So here we go. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. So unbeknownst to the salesman, there's this whole thing going on over here next to the sale, next to the eye sale. What happened is there's this N over here seagull, the seagull attached to the N. The seagull attached to the N for N acetyl, N acetyl. And he has a little L attached to him. So again, this is the N seagull with the mini L over here. The mini L glued to him. The N seagull with the glued mini L. N seagull with the glued mini L to help us remember N acetyl glucosaminol. Because the defective enzyme in eye cell disease is N acetyl glucosaminol. 1 phosphotransferase. Okay, the 1 phosphotransferase you don't have to remember. But the N acetyl glucosaminol, 1 phosphotransferase. If you could just remember N seagull, that's good enough for N acetyl. N acetyl glucosaminol, 1 phosphotransferase. Phew! So that's the defective enzyme in eye cell disease. And what does this lead to? This leads to a failure of the Golgi apparatus to phosphorylate mannose residues. Normally the Golgi phosphorylates mannose residues in order to direct them to the lysosomes. So here's the Golgi, or the gold key. The gold key, and he has P's. P represents phosphate. P in organic chemistry is for phosphate. So here there's gonna be a P, P for phosphate. And normally this gold key likes to give his P, his phosphate, to this guy. This is the man nose, the nose man, the man nose. Normally the gold key wants to give his phosphate to the mannose. But after the seagull died, he got so depressed that he stopped doing it. He stopped phosphorylating mannose residues. In eye cell disease, due to the defect in N-acetylglucosamino one phosphotransferase, there's a failure of the Golgi, or the gold key, to phosphorylate to give phosphate to mannose residues. And this leads to a decrease in mannose 6 phosphate on glycoproteins. Here's the man nose guy running away because he's not being phosphorylated by the Golgi. And as he's running, he bumps into this cell over here that shoots up some tuna. The tuna here is to help us represent protein. And the proteins are leaving the cell. Due to the lack of phosphorylation of mannose, the enzymes are not directed intracellularly, but are exported extracellularly. They're not delivered to the lysosomes. That's where they should be going. These mannose-tagged proteins should be going to the lysosomes, but instead they're being forced extracellularly. And the lysosomes are not getting the hydrolases that they need and they're not going to function properly, and they're not going to be able to break down the debris that they normally have, and that's what leads to the inclusion bodies in eye cell disease, the buildup in the lysosomes of debris that should have been broken down. So two things we see in eye cell disease. One is the buildup in the lysosomes, the inclusions of the debris that should be broken down, and two we find these hydrolases which should have been in the lysosomes, we see them extracellularly outside of the cell. And this is what leads to the symptoms in eye cell disease. We notice this man over here, he has sort of like a robot face to help us remember the coarse facial features seen in eye cell disease. There's also a gingival hyperplasia. We notice that there's a cloud with corn on top of him to help us remember the clouded corneas, which can often lead to blindness. This is also seen in Hurler syndrome. In fact, eye cell disease can sometimes present very similarly to Hurler syndrome, one of the mucopolysaccharidoses. He's actually very stuck like this. He's very stuck. Even though he looks very happy, he doesn't move at all. To help us remember the restricted joint movements. And we see that he has a very claw-like hand. We have a, he has a claw hand. To help us remember the claw hand deformities seen in eye cell disease. We take a look behind him. We notice that he has a very curved spine. To help us remember the kyphoscoliosis seen in eye cell disease. And we notice this baby on the floor. The sale man's baby on the floor, unfortunately, who passed away. To help us remember that eye cell disease is often fatal in childhood. The reason why his face is brown is because he took a Reese's chocolate before the scene and rubbed it all over his face. Eye cell disease is an autosomal recessive inherited disorder. And of course, we just want to mention that there are going to be high plasma levels of lysosomal enzymes in eye cell disease, as these enzymes didn't make it to the lysosomes, ended up extracellularly. But they're not going to function in the blood there, since the pH is too high for them, as is in the lysosomes the pH was around 5, whereas in the blood it's 7.4. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Take care.